action? After <coughs> uh, US wali malizana na Saddam Hussein in the early 2000s. Um what they did to make sure wamemaliza hiyo regime kabisa ni walisema mtu yoyote ashaikuwa kwa government ya Saddam asijaribu kupatiwa kazi huko yoyote kwa serikali never kama ulikuwa minister ama military guy kwa government ya Saddam ukwenda nyumbani enda ushago ulime melon they did that thinking wana simamisha eh, eh, regime ya Saddam Hussein but what ended up happening is how what what with all the skills the bureaucrats and the military guys walikolabo na wakaenda wakashikana na one very dangerous man by the name uh, Abu Musab al-Zarqawi and together wakatengeneza kitu inaitwa ISIS one of the most lethal units ever to exist in this world so america hapo pia walipiga young and stupid move kid design yeah haya twende kazi bas Wadau <laughs> historia leo ni ya zamani kidogo. Hapa tunaongea early 2000s. Ah, siko sure exactly ni mwaka gani but eh, ni story nimepigiwa na mkurugenzi fulani akaniambia eh hey, ni kisa nilipitia eh, unaweza tu chapia wakurugenzi. Eh, you know if not for anything just for entertainment. Na nikasikiza ni story ni story mufti sana so nataka niwachapie leo. So uko eh, early 2000s rafiki yetu hapa alikuwa ni kijana wa kuadharisha watu huku nje mbaya. Masimu zimetembea. Hey, hey. Kama ulinunua simu second hand huko ma early 2000s most probably mtu wangu ndio aliorganize. Mm, mm. Mkono wa Bwana ameuona sababu ni mtu wako na sisi leo ameokoka na amekubali Yesu kama mokozi wa maisha yake. Uwape shangwe na vigelegele. <laughs> so now after a while jamaa akajiita meeting akajiambia, "Ai hapana. No, this cannot be my out." Hii hezi kuati ndio nataka nijitoe nayo kwa Ngori Town. Hapana. Mtu wa ki, kitu yake ikienda anasikia aje lazima akuwe anasikia mbaya sana. So akaamua kuweka vitu zake in order. Hiyo mambo ya masimu za wizi akawachana nayo kabisa kabisa kabisa. Na akaamua sasa niishi life as a decent human being. Na kwa sababu alikuwa ametengeneza tengeneza kasenti pale. The boy was not struggling. Alikuwa anaishi fiti. Akaamua let me treat myself. Nijirudishie mkono kwa ile kazi mkono yangu imefanya. Nijinunulie simu, bonge la simu. Let me tell you guys, hiyo time, the iPhone 14 of that time was a phone by the name BlackBerry. Ai! Hey, unajua BlackBerry? Si salimo. Unajua BlackBerry? Sana. 2003 ulikuwa miaka nane? Ah, but BlackBerry si ilika. Hadi nikakuwa 2005 ilikuwa 2010. Ah, 2010 imekuwa. Kweli? Eh. Ni dhani hiyo simu tulimalizana nayo. Okay. So Blackberry il eh kwanza wa friend from the lake side wajali wa mlitusumbua. Hey. <laughs> Unapanda matatu kutoka Kawangware mpaka town lakini kwa mfuko ni Blackberry. Ah, wewe. So akaenda kamwacha niki hapo kwa shop nijishikie Blackberry yangu safi niendelee kuishi maisha yangu. Eh, you know as a, you know stand up guy. Mtu ambaye amekubali kuacha hii mambo ya kishetan shetan so akajishikia blackberry pale ah na maisha ikakuwa safi one time ha mabesti wake wamemwambia ni aje hata leo situtoke kidogo bana hata twende sherehe tuharibu haribu hiyo time westlands ilikuwa inavuruga ik 
Nairobi who mentioned two clubs 90% ziko West eh hiyo Electric Avenue huko zinasumbua mbaya ah watu huko walikuwa wanachachisha deadly so alikuwa pia amebarikiwa kuna kagari kake kasafi nini akasema sasa sawa oh, yeah twende 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 tu, tu enjoy kiasi eh, but before aingie sherehe akamwacha kwanza aingie home kidogo asalimie wazazi hapo na pale nini nini sababu kuna mtu alikuwa ametoka i think ngambo if i'm not wrong either a cousin of his sikumbuki ni nani exactly na alikuwa ameleta luku safi alikuwa amemletea kapolo shot safi kutoka US of A na kasawa So akaamwacha ningi huko kwanza ni okote luku yangu safi nipigilie hii luku ndio naenda kutesa nayo wapi eh huko estima zetu kiwa hizi masherehe sherehe na hapo sawa so wakatoka wakakutana na maarifu wake kadhaa ni nini, nini wakaingia Westlands huko ah na maze mambo ikakuwa sawa wakapiga mambo yao pole pole maisha inawabamba si siri then somewhere hapo katikati walikuwa na mdem fulani hapo eh, i think na best yake wakamua you know watu wacha tutoke hapa West wacha tuingie pale K1 tuone pia huko kama kuna kuna happen So Ude maka akatoka na kashika na best yake wakaishia lakini sababu Umresh alikuja na ujama kwa gari alikuwa ameacha handbag yake kwa gari mahali hapa chini unajua mademo wanajuaga kuweka mavitu kwa machemba suko i think ni skill ya ku mark territory i don't know So jamaa akatoka i mean Umresh akatoka eh, na wenye alitoka nao jamaa akabaki hapo akiendelea tu So vile ilifika mataima kaona okay yeah, it's, a, it's a good time to leave this place wacha nisikie wale wale mresha ametoka hivi huko K1 kuko aje eh niingie huko hata pia nikimpelekea mama mambo zake so yeye yeah, akamaliza na watu hapa kalipa hiyo bill mbio mbio akatoka kashuka pale akaingia kwa gari yake hapo West aka drive to kufika hapa kuna mahali kuna around about kadogo kako hapa Westlands E, ukipanda hivi juu unaenda hii inaitwa the mall the mall iko na naivas hapo nje ukienda hivi unaenda ka petrol station kanaitwa oilcom kako mahali hapa unashika highway unaenda but size vile super highway imekuja hii express imekuja sijika bado iko hivyo but you know akaka small car round about mali ah mali mangirimiti fulani walikuwa wanataka kukata mugumo tree hapo na hiyo mugumo imekuwa hapo tangu sijui jadi so ametoka anakam kwa hiyo round about ndio ashike design either aende tao ajue vile ata get k1 eh, na hiyo route ama you know what after two route ya, ku, ya kufika k1 akiwa hapo si ndio anajiambia ah wacha ni call ule mresh nisikie ka bado ako k1 nisiende hiyo k1 nipate nimechoma tu mafuta hapa bure so anachomoa blackberry ana bofim anaiweka kwa masikio dirisha ameweka chini sababu ya time kasambusa lazima kacheze hapo as anaongea na mresh hapa akimwambia ni aje hata ndio nimetoka west nataka kujua ka uko bado k1 nikuje nikikuletea hata bag yako hapa kwa side mira anaona tu kifiga kimepita kia black so kidogo akaangalia one rada ni gani hapo but ana concentrate hapa sababu anapatiwa maagizo anapatiwa instructions anaambiwa e, in fact ukifika tu K1 we ni chapie nitakuja hapa kwa mlango niko K1 bado as anasikiza tu hivi ile figa imepita tu hapo nyuma kidogo kidogo ikakuja teke teke blackberry gone so anaangalia said mira anaona vile amekimbia akawacha kila kitu akaacha gari hapo nini akafungua mlango akatoka mbio sasa anaenda ku, kushika huo jamaa ameacha kila kitu hapo so mzee ameenda ame, ame, mpaka amefikia mse ame, anaenda kumshika hivi kidogo kidogo umati genge la watu sita wakatokea from nowhere wanakaa mzee na vile wanakaa eh hawataki kumpiga hag no e, hapa sasa kanaenda kutamba e, akaona hapa ni, ni noma mazeso aka, aka hepa kiasi azawaso anakuja then kidogo kidogo mazee anataa na naona aso anarudi wanaenda teke teke wapi kwa ile gari mali ameiwacha wanaenda wanafungua milango zote za ndai pap pap wanaanza kuipiga masachu kwa ndani nini eh hey, yeah, akaamua hapa sasa voice box niponye nduru nduru anadibia nini so anapiga nduru akikuja towards the car malio hiyo gari yake amewacha so wakapiga piga mavitu hapo haraka haraka wakaona okay huu pia huu kinyangarika na mezeshea bana anapiga nduru sana so wakatoka waka, wakaacha gari wakaingia mafichoni teke teke so akakaa akafika hapo kwa gari mzee akachekicheki ndani akaona ah ah akia kuna kitu imechukuliwa akaenda pale chini kuangalia kaa ile bagi ya mresh iko 
guess what bug bado iko sijui mazoe mdema alikuwa me citizen gani but hawa watu wa kisearch ndai hawakuiona but sasa ile kukuwa rafta pale juu after ashike ule mjamaa wao alizumbua na sumbua na hapo nini ndio genge ikatokea ile polo yake mazoe imeraruka na ako vizii simu gone so akajiambia now since hii gari niko nayo bado wacha ni chukue tu gari niende ni ingie K1 then nitafute umresh physically ni msho mali ni mali niko i mean ni msho nimefika na, na mambo yake so akatoka na ndai vizuri akaenda akaingia K1 so vile anafika tu K1 i guess so mde malipiga sabu yake akajiambia kama umse ametoka then itamchukua time yake kufika hapa so hata yeye mresh akaanza ku come towards the gate so by the time huyo jamaa anafika Oh, mresha alikuwa hapo wakaonana eh hey, jamaa anashuka shati mwo amefanywa masihara mambo haiko sawa so anamuuliza eh hey, rada eh hey, mazee wakora wamenifanya mbaya westlands guess what blackberry gone imeenda ah so mazee mresha amechoka hapo ah hiyo ni nani hao sasa hako anakumbuka huyu jamaa pia <laughs> anyway so wakaamua ni aje wetu ingia hapa parklands police twende to report at least hata kama maybe hii ni nonsense tunafanya it's better to to report you never know eh, vitu zinaweza patikana tuweka imani kwa polisi so wakaingia pale parklands police wakaenda waka report na kapeleka msichana nyumbani yeye akaenda home kukula stress sababu simu imekwenda na si tu simu blackberry messenger bbm gone Ameka home two days later beshte yake anampigia u beshte yake pia yeye ako na blackberry anamkola anamuuliza oy aga the kwani umebadilisha jina amza ah, jina nimebadilisha wapi ai si mimi nakuchatchata hapa kwa blackberry jo naona unaitwa sijui natasha <laughs> rada <laughs> ala shindo oh dolia kwa hapa anaitwa natasha <laughs> Eh na mwambia wait una chat na Blackberry yangu eh ai Blackberry yangu ilienda bana two days ago sijakuwa na simu mimi in fact nakula pressure hapa mbaya sana ai imeenda eh but naongea na mresh fulani hapa na, na, tumekuwa tukiongea for karibu two days ai ya yeah, yeah, yeah. so mzee akamwambia hebu kam kam tujaribu tena so wakaongea aka, aka chat na ule nini huko ehe ehe okay okay ah, sawa so jamaa akamwambia sasa hivi ndio tutakacheza bro hiyo simu ilibiwa nikiwa nayo huko West na kama iko na mresh hapa hiyo ni very nice wewe si unafanyaga kazi kwa hoteli ya kifahari very nice kile tutafanya ni tutaingiza on stana box tunataka tumkatie atajua yeye ni Nairobi kuna makatsanova eh then umuite date kwa hoteli yako yenye wewe unafanya ka kazi akikuja tu kabla hata aweke napkin hapa mimi na makachero tunatokelezea pale mazedi kiswat eh tuchukue simu yetu na atuambie alitoa wapi hiyo simu sababu we, wale walimpatia ndio waliniibia so jamaa kaambia na mambo ah hiyo plan inaweza so mimi nirushe mistari on your behalf eh wewe mka yani wewe mpige lines atoshe sawa so the friend mase akaanza ku message okay before ataniendelea na story uh, there's a piece of information that i need to tell you Blackberry na operate eh, fani. Hiyo Blackberry Messenger ndio muweze kuongea on Messenger. Kuna kuga na pin lazima mpeane. Ka pin fulani. So since ah, ah, ma beshte wawili wal, walikuwa washapea na pin so ni, ni rais like communication inawezekana. But mimi nikiwa na Blackberry na hiyo pin hauna uwezi nirushie hiyo Blackberry uwezi nirushie hiyo message siwezi ipata lazima nikupatie hiyo pin yangu yeah ufanye mambo ya you know the works so eh, back to the story so the guy ameanza mistari pale ashaanza kukatia mrembo nini mrembo eh hey, mrembo ana anaingia anatoshea deadly akampiga sasa ile ile saa kufunika sasa kama in fact ni aje niko niko na time kiasi je unaweza kama tukutane hotel XYZ eh hey, hata nikushikie dina safi mazoe ya kibazuu sikie fiti mazoe dema anamwambia ah ah ya ya pole sikukuarifu mimi hata siko Kenya nikoda eh yeah? ya mimi ni mtanzania 
niko Dar es Salaam hata nashangao tumepatana patanaje kwa hii Blackberry Messenger ina connect watu kweli Hmm, mradi imeharibika. So of course the friend ana relay information. Anaambia jamaa mwenye simu, "Oh, gave, tumehita brick wall." Nini mbaya? Dema yuko Kenya, ako TZ. Aje. Wo demba na nimeibi wa simu Saturday. Tuesday unasema ulikuwa na chat na ye. Eh, hata si Tuesday. In fact, yeah, Tuesday nilikuwa na chat na ye. So unatakuniambia between Saturday na Tuesday hiyo simu ilikuwa ishafika TZ. Eh, akaambia hapa bana criminals wana operate very fast, quick. Ikakuwa sasa bus plan B. Plan B ni gani? Mimi natoka hii Nairobi, niende hiyo Dar es Salaam, nimtafute huko. Eh. So we mwambie brother yako anakuja Dar es Salaam na brother yako ako juu aka kitu mbaya, ni mudosi kupindukia. Eh, akubali tu e, wakuwe na kadina pamoja, I'm sure shorty Z kiasi ni nini nini. Eh, it will be worth her while. So jamaa ka marinate hiyo idea, akakama kama mwambie hey, gadhe. Si ati nataka kukojolea idea yako lakini the truth of the matter ni ati mazee wa TZ yuko Kenya I mean wa TZ na wa Kenya jo especially tukiwa kwa space yao before mtz da I mean mkenya na kuna mtz mwingine hapo bro utakuwa umeona fire yeah, sioni kani idea fiti wewe kwenda TZ what would be easier for us ni ku find design who am dem atakuja Kenya Eh hey, so jamaa anapiga hesabu na ona okay so so ni kuanza kumkatia tena sasa tu okay sawa sawa ina mambo sawa sawa bas launch your operation we skuma maujumbe pale mwambie ni aje uh, umependa vibe yake sana ni nini nini akamkenya eh, um, show ma one two ma one two mkutanishe na mabigi wanapenda kusikia vitu kama hizo eh ah bas ataingia hapa very fast akasema sawa si promise anything but wacha nijari wacha nijaribu so mjamaa akaanza ma ujumbe pale ni aje nini nini hata nasikia eh, fiti kubonga na wewe kuna uwezekano unaweza kama hivi hata Nairobi jo nikutembeze tembeze hapa nini nini ni ku up na watu wa big eh hey, in fact we hata as unajua prime minister wetu ai hiyo familia mabesto wangu mbaya sana in fact tukikama hivi tunaweza hata enda sherehe yao moja na Joasan wake moja ako na sherehe deadly sana inaweza ni bamba jo ukiwa area hey. Mresh pale bongo anasikia hey huyu anajua namba kana right honorable hey hey itabidi tuingie hiyo Nairobi so akamnini akamwambia na mambo basi mi acha njipange pange basi ni fine nini nije so akamfacilitate akamwambia acha ni kurushie hela kiasi za za kusafiri nini nini ikifika tu hivi si utaanza safari eh hey, haina mambo so aka organize vile mapesa ma, ma, ma zinafika TZ then Mresha anze safari. Before long, pesa ilikuwa ishaingia bongo. Mrembo ameshaenda ameshachukua nini nini asha confirm asha ambia ni aje niko fiti e, nimeshachukua pesa. Na ndio huyu jamaa aonyeshe yenye vile, vile ni genuine vile ni mtu yani legit. Akaambia mrembo in fact itakuwa better ukikuja hata na rafiki yako. E, usikuje peke yako at least ni poa mkiwa wawili. E, ni, ni, ni better na safer. Ah, Sam Resh kuskeba anaona yani hawa watu wanani mind yani wananitumia mpaka fair na wanani mind. Ah wacha tuende. So akachagua best yake mmoja hapo wakaingia basi teke teke wakaanza safari ya kuja wapi Nairobi Kenya. Huyu jamaa kwa mind yake hajui hiyo distance vile inatoshana. Kutoka Dar mpaka Nairobi my friend see si. we. Mtu anapiga masafa proper. At some point alikuwa na scare akajiambia oh wait a minute. Ude maneza kwa mepanda hii basi anakam na blackberry yangu ameiacha home so akaanza kurusha ma message kwa hiyo blackberry hiyo hiyo blackberry so akaona response akajua nice ako nayo wacha akam he safari yaishi 1 hour 2 hours 3 hours 4 hours 5 6 7 8 eh 9 aya after ka 10 and a half hours ndio mrembo anatuma ujumbe anasema hata nishafika jiji niko Nairobi eh sasa ni majamaa wakutane wa muehe mtu wangu wa, mtu wetu washafika tuko sawa twende tumkute tunahitaji kubeba polisi ya a hiyo itachoma mwenye simu akaongea na sister yake akamwambia fanya hivi sister for now we and rudi home kana mami kidogo kile tutafanya hiyo keja yako ndio tunataka twende tuweke awaresh unajua wamepiga safari ya tena hawa so wamechoka mbaya lazima walale wapumzike fit ndio tuwafumanie eh yeah, tuchukue mambo yetu 
But the truth of the matter ni ati after hii safari ya 10 hours, huyu mwenye simu alianza kuingiza roho nyepesi. Ali feel guilty mazaya ni online nimeweka homes chana wenyewe kwa basi for 10 hours na najua fit mazeyo kitu vitu zote tumempromise hakuna kitu tuna deliver yani sisi na serikali hapa sasa na ni yani ah sad sad so akaanza kufeel hapana ude hata akifika tusimtreat kama mhuni no wacha wacha tumtulize fit like tukwe tu gentle na polite na eh eh tu tumu explain yetu exactly nini ili happen bus so mrembo mazee ashafika washaenda wamemchukua pale kwa stage ya basi wamempeleka teke teke mpaka kwa hao ya sister ya huyu mwenye simu wamemweka pale uh, surprisingly i think uh, the following day ndio bashi ya mto yu agwambo wameshamchukua pale chukua mrembo na beshta yake wameingia mpaka hiyo uh, bash ngong road ume yeah, yeah. dance ni nini nini ah madem wana have the time of their lives then after shere wameenda wamepumzika fiti the following day sasa wakawakalisha chini vizuri wakawaambia sasa aina mambo tutapiga tu lap mpaka mahali hapa mbele kiasi eh, then after hapo tutawapatia ratiba vile itaenda ah madem that now god chini wako too excited so wakaingia kwa gari eh, jamaa mwenye simu huyu best yake na blackberry yake na madem hapo nyuma teke teke wakakama wakaingia kwa geti ya nini parklands police so wakapak ndani eh wakazima gari wakaambia wakageukia warembo wakaambia sasa poleni tumekuwa kuna vitu tume tumewadanganya mahali kuna vitu tumewaficha but tuna feel sign time poa ya kuwaambia madam hiyo simu uko nayo ulitoa wapi akasema hii simu nimenunua kwa stall lini Uh, last Tuesday nimeibai kwa kwa stall hapo quick in fact tu mwenye aliniuzia bado niko na vita na yeye sababu huu mtu hajanipa kitu hajanipa charger sijui nafaa inanichachia nashinda nikimpigia simu ananiambia oo oh, oh, charger inakuja nitulie nini ananibo sana huyo jamaa akamwambia so the reason why una charger mtu wangu ni sababu hii simu iliibiwa hapa Nairobi Kenya on Saturday usiku na mimi ndio mwenye simu So huyu rafiki yangu wali kuchat chat hapo akifikiria na chat na mimi ndio tuka discover wewe ndio uko nayo tuka discover uko TZ so tukapanga mikakati ya kuhakikisha at least umefika hapa na tume ascertain akaingia mahali kwa kabaga katoka na nini box yenye isimu ilikuja nayo i may number ndio hiyo hiyo charger unasema hauna ndio hii <laughs> sasa hapa mambo ni Either tukubali tu makosa ilifanyika unirudishie simu e, na mimi ni kufasilitate tu rudi bongo ama tu agree yenyewe hata wewe ulifanywa mbaya na uko ready kubeba mzigo tuingie tu kwa police e, police wa deal nayo wewe unaonaje eh hey, kidogo kidogo bana wanajadiliana hapa jadiliana hapo nyuma wanaambia na hapana eh hey, uongo tukiingia police hapa itakuwa blanda Eh yeah, kidogo before ascertain oh nini nani anasema ukweli watuweke kwa cell huku kwa hapa. Eh nani nimekubali. Mimi nilienda nikanunua simu sikufanya due diligence sikujiuliza nani huyu anauza simu bila charger na nini. Hapo mimi pia nilikuwa fala. Ningefanya uchunguzi nijue kwa nini simu haina charger na nini. Eh singekuwa kwa, kwa hii situation sahi. So mimi nimekubali chukua simu ndio hiyo. Nishaona box yenyewe I may number kila kitu. Like we well, proof yote mtu anahitajika kuwa nayo wewe uko nayo mimi sina proof ya kuwa hii simu ni yangu so chukua simu yako pole sana kwa yale aliyokukumba na kusema ukweli mimi simu hizi kabisa ni, mimi, ni mtu nilifanya tu nili make decision mbaya nikanunua simu kwa mwizi so akamuuliza ah majamaa tukirudi huko bongo unaweza wa identify akasema eh ndio kwa maana hata sishtuki sababu unajua mali ndenda ni toe huo ukinyangarika ah akasema very nice simu ikapigwa hapo haraka haraka sijui contact zilitoka wapi simu ikapigwa kwa one of the cops huko TZ wakambio ni haje kuna madem wenu wako hapa Kenya na simu ya wizi eh, but wanaweza identify ule mwenye aliwauzia simu ambayo imeibiwa ah okay akasema no worries sikuma waresh hapa haraka haraka tuingie nao tufanye tufanye mambo hiyo ni kazi gani na warembo wamefanyishwa juu ya wezi hapa. So teke teke mavijana wakaingia kwa mfuko wakapatia wasichana pesa. 
ya kushika basi tena tena hawa mpaka Dar es Salaam wakaenda wakaingia Dar es Salaam wakaenda wakakutana na ule cop ule cop wakampeleka teke teke mpaka mahali wali wali get simu wakakamata jamaa akamwambia e, u jamaa mrefu ulimuzia simu e, ni wewe sasa hapa mambo ni rais tuonyeshe ule mwenye alikupatia alikuuzia simu ya wizi ndio wewe uuzie huyu ama urudishie tu mrembo hela zake basi kila mtu ende nyumbani amefurahi huyu jamaa mwenye aliuza phone akapiga hesabu ya nitatoa wapi wale wa Kenya wale hiyo ni uongo akaingia tu kwa mfuko akarudishia msichana senti zake zote and everybody went home happy ili cost mjama wetu takriban 6 to 8000 shillings ku actualize hiyo operation yote lakini ili save blackberry ya tens of thousands so it was a worthy investment yeah na hivyo ndio kijana wetu alipona <laughs> alipiga sakata dead i wish inge kwa recorded yani hiyo inaka kitu fit kuiona kasiri si ndio spikes eh jo yani unaona tu kwa basi hapo wamefurahi hawajui <laughs> ama tutai shoot msawa tu bas na hapo ndio nafungia kazi leo eh, mida ya saa tisa na dakika 19 ala siri and yeah.